Yo, what's going on guys? I'm gonna be showing you how to carry an AP Uder here in season 14 with the best build in runes possible. This is a 67% win rate build and you wanna go for Leandre's first still, it's the best on him for his AP spam. Then you wanna go for Frozen Heart. It's still incredibly strong even though it's 100 more gold. Very, very cost effective. After that, straight into Deadman's or Force in Nature. Their team is physical damage heavy, so for sure it's a Deadman's. So the 67% win rate build should turn out just fine. Even though we are playing AP Tanky Udir, you wanna start with Q. It's your highest damage level one ability, especially for starting on a buff. You have Conquer, Triumph, Tenacity, Last Stand, Free Boots, Approach, Double AD, and Health. We're gonna auto auto, <clears throat> Q auto auto. After using any ability on Udir, your next two auto attacks have more attack speed. So on your first camp in particular, this is very important since we can't spam our abilities out. We're kind of trying to make the most out of our passive. We're gonna get our R next, right as we're about range of the camp. We're gonna press R, pull it into us, auto auto, into Q auto auto. Your two empowered auto attacks on passive after using any ability puts your passive on a shorter cooldown. And then when your pass is ready, you can uh, use it to empower any ability. So here, for example, I don't really want to use my passive on that camp. It was already almost dead. So instead, I'll just save it for this camp. Raptors is one of the only camps in the early game that using empowered R on is fine. Kill the small ones quicker. <clears throat> Preserve more of your HP. But for the most part, until you have more than three points in your R on every camp besides Raptors, you'll use Empowered Qs. But as you get more and more points, obviously, into your R and you have magic damage items, that's when you'll uh, always do Empowered Rs, really, regardless of the situation. We just continue to full clear. Uder's ganks are not the best. He needs to have his stun up and if you go stun level three then your clears leave you squishy we have to be able to cycle internal stance to heal ourselves. auto auto and the q auto auto and the w autos and if you're cycling your abilities appropriately using both of your empowered auto attacks from passive your passive will be on a, a very short cooldown all right we just did a leash list 315 we were just kind of crazy Got a point in the E. I don't know if this is warded though. Looks like it might be. I mean, they're completely missing here. They have Trish Jungle. I respect that. I think Trish Jungle is sleeper OP. Has loads of carry potential. In fact, I think Trish mid and jungle should be played a lot more often. But viewers get upset at me when I pick stuff like that. Okay, we're going to power to E into her. She did get the scuttle crab, which is annoying, but I'll get the opposite side one. She's kind of low. She has to reset. I don't really have to reset. We have nothing top side, nothing bot side. She is kind of bot side area-ish. If she does decide to gank with low health. Whenever you go into a gank, you want your passive to be up so we can use our empowerment, particularly on R for the slow. I'll ghost this guy down. <clears throat> He's trying to scrap it out. We'll run into him with an Eon. We go for the stun into double R. Again with an auto. And then we finish him off with uh, our tiger stance. The little claw stance. That's what they call it these days. All right, we just help him push the wave and we leave. He needs to back, get his health back, mana back, spend gold. I need to spend my gold at this point. Uter ganks are okay. <clears throat> They're particularly good once you have tier 2 boots. You can rush Swifties on Uter, or it's typically better to play for Lucids. We're going to build as much of Leandre's as we can. Super important item. I'm not going to buy control work because I won't need it. And I can even look for a Grubs here. I think Krugs will get us to level 5 if they don't will hit Raptors into Grubs. Grubs give you loads of XP and you can take them super easily with uh, your R spam. R is amazing for it. It's max health damage, all AoE. We can hit all three at once. We'll hit it with double R here. Although you could use Empowered Q. <clears throat> Since I'm kind of leading into the camp, I can attack it sooner just by using Empowered R and get my passive up sooner. If you're already on top of the camp and then your empowerment comes up, you'll usually just use Empowered Q until you have three or four points into your R. We'll gank this guy. Trist is going at it in chat with one of our teammates. He blocked my stun. Get him with an R. Uh, 
Nice. Well played by the Gragas. <coughs> really well played. Let's see how many times we can clear our throat during this video. Uh, I'm, I'm shooting for a baker's dozen here. I can go back top. Gragas says he's freezing. Jax is going to step up. He'll be behind. Gragas will be six. I just got to get ready to pull this wave over there. I'm going to smite that. It's trying to reset even though it's well within inside the boundaries. That's a weird bug. Swapping the key for more attack speed. Even though we do have good AoE damage. Oh, I'm dead. I guess that was literally warded. <coughs> power. Power clear right there. We'll go for Blasting Wad. I'm going to head over for my red buff. I am shocked that that was warded. Really, really surprised the way they all kind of coordinated up on that. Trist may go to my red buff. I don't know. Oh, cool. She's taking my red right now. I'm going to power an E to get to her in the R. She flashed the wall, but I'm having to fiddle with her here. It's kind of annoying. But cool. She gets away for free. Love to see it. Oh, man. That's tough, me dying there. She at least took some damage for it. She's playing really, really like, kind of aggressive and weird. I'll head over top side. I don't think there's a scuttle here. There's already one bot side. Let's see if there's a ward. Sometimes that is awarded. Jax is low. Gragas solo kills it. That sucks. I was on my way. All right, Trist is there. And Gragas literally just walked into her. That was so bad. We'll get her with the stun and empower Q. Got her. I'm going to empower Q there since she's going to jump away. Empower Q is going to be more burst, especially while we have a very minimal amount of ability, power, and points in our R. Empower Q can chip off those autos quick with the attack speed and single target damage. At some point, we'll start out clearing Shastana. I'm going to stick around top side. It's, we already know it's not warded. She walked right into us, so I can kind of stay. Regank this here. The chances of it turning out are incredibly high. Jax should be back. Yep. I don't have my passive up. Jax used his jump. All right. We're going for the stun into R. Auto into uh, empowered R. Yeah, we can just stay. We need vision on this. On drag. Ooh, Trist is topside. That's weird. I don't know why Trist just did that. I guess she's trying to cheese down a kill. I'm going to ghost her down. Stun into R. Down she goes. That's the downside to Trist. She is very squishy. She needs to manage her HP a bit better. This Greg seems to know what's going on. He kind of knows how to freeze. Wave management. Positioning. He kind of understands it all. Going for the stun. We don't get it. We get him with R's instead. That's fine. I mean, he gets through there. He takes a lot of damage for it. Lost darn near half his health. He's tanking minions as well to try to stop the wave from coming in on. Get with the stun R. Oh, this is kind of bad. Yeah, it's not good. I just have to back off. Just could already be on our way. I'll go ahead and mute Gragas for a little bit. I'm going to play away from him after what I just saw. He randomly went in. I was on cooldowns. We could even pick up Dark Seal or Mesh. Mesh has an 85% win rate on Udyr, over 434 games on it. So it has a proven track history, particularly if you're ahead. Trist is in my Raptor area. She's one full item tier one boots. We get with an auto R. I'm dead here. She's a full item advantage. A lot of damage with crack and well played to her. I'm going to push play to this game. I wanted to go Lucids. They're, just, they're so auto heavy with Kai'Sa, Triss, Jax. I mean, even Azir. They're probably going to get that second set of uh, grubs. Now that I'm full Leandri's tier 2 boots, I'll buy a control ward. Sure enough, Trist is doing them. They don't seem to be doing much damage to her, all things considered. She 
He must be healing a lot off them. I think she's just, yep, yeah, she's taking them for free. Gragas doesn't really want them for whatever reason. Trist is incredibly low. This guy's low. He shouldn't have gotten sped up. He was in combat with champions. That Scuttle should not have sped him up there. <clears throat> scuttle speed up bonus is weird like that. When it's not really supposed to speed people up and it still does. I don't want to let them get five of these because then they get the huge bonus. One power Q for this. And she's off more autos. Get passive back up. Currently five out of six KP for my team. They have very high kill participation. We'll use Q to break this with the attack speed. Trist is a bit of a threat for us. Now that I have played, we'll see how the fight goes with her. We get her with the E and the double R. All right, we almost killed her. That was really, really close. She ended up having to flash out. He'll back up off a of W, use Q for attack speed, swap into R. I don't think they're on Dragon because Trist is low unless their bot lane is just taking it. Nice, Jin finishes Trist. We could definitely do, look to do drag now. Yeah, drag's kind of free here. We'll look to go turtle max second. We don't need any more points in the queue. Because we're not building 80 Udyr. Use an empowered queue for more attack speed. Better single target damage. Dragon's also not trying to escape, so us slowing it doesn't do anything. Plus, you can't slow dragon anyways. Alright, not bad. They are never really going to be able to get Drag Soul since they missed the first one and we're already taking the first one kind of late into the game. Might be able to do something here if he stays to break it. Otherwise, I'll just go run mid. Gragas is up so much CS and items, I'm surprised he dies there. Zero's a full item plus tier twos. Get him with the Smite. Auto into R. and R again. Jin missed almost every single R. I think he landed one there. But we at least did get a zero flash, but wow. It's really something. Red buff autos Triss. He's on Ghost. She's not going to be able to keep up with that. She's being greedy. Jin damage is really, really high. Now we go for Frozen. Always should be using your E to get around the map. Just don't waste your passive empowerment on E. To move around the map you only use empowered e to get through big cc's like hooks snares a vague arcade stuff like that walking around the map you never do that never 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 Nothing on the map really right now other than Harold, and I'm already in the area. I doubt they would take it with Gragas prior that he has right now. Be too risky if we had a ward on it. It's possible. Very unlikely. <clears throat> in fact, they have a, <laughs> a scuttle crab on it. They're going to come down here once they see me on it. They're not going to want to give this up for free. And that's Harold. I think Greg is just trying to rage quit. He's getting mad. He feels like he won lane, but he's, he's just not performing anymore. He's going for extremely weird, over-the-top plays. Extremely unnecessary. Oops, accidentally wasted my passive on Turtle. I'll lay Harold for this. Lux can pinch him as long as she doesn't die. She needs to hold on to E to self-pilt. 
He might just reset. Oh, <laughs> I missed. I was trying to get the flick back towards Jax. It wasn't going to let me stun in the R. Down he goes. Yeah, I messed up the Herald. I was trying to like swing it around so I could jump back. Because whichever side you hit it from, it throws you out opposite. That's what I want. It's not what I got. He dies there for my red buff burn. Oh, I didn't even see Ezreal there. I'm tanking the turret. Doesn't matter. <laughs> he killed Ezreal. That was a messy fight. Really, really messy. Stan is in the area. I don't want to fight her. She's kind of fed. I'm behind in a lot of respects. Not much CS. Trish could probably farm faster than me at this point. I can back and get Frozen Heart for this drag fight. It'll make a huge difference against their comp, slowing all their attack speeds. She obviously wants this turret. We'll see if she can take me. Wow. She slowed me off of her red jungle item. So she jumped in, jumped out. That was interesting. She she didn't really take any damage from turret for that. Never a jungle item slow is brutal to close on. I need Frozen Heart desperately at this point. If I could slow her attack speed by 20% and then I also get the rock solid each... Uh, incoming damage from attacks of autos is what attacks means. So every auto attack would do 12 less damage at this point. Why are these guys still topside is what I don't get. They're kind of conceding objectives, which is weird. Because that's where I should be. I really shouldn't be up here right now. Thought I was going to be able to get a kill. Not, not so much. I'll head on over. Gonna keep using our E to get there. Got a flank on his ear. He's two full items though, and I don't have magic resist. Why? Wow, yeah, I lost all my health. Yeah, sit on that, Jax. Jin missed the snare on a slow target running in a linear line. Rip. Mm, I gotta get past the backup to spam out my R's. Ezreal shouldn't have hit that ward. <clears throat> I'm gonna go for drag instead. Triss could take it pretty fast. Kraken. Empowered Q. We'll swap into R for damage into W. Back into Q. Back into R. Taking some time by herself. Alright, not bad. Right, two drags. Triss is up a lot of CS, just split push and farming. Question is, can I solo her? She's two full items. <clears throat> I'm two full items. I think I can now. <gasps> With the frozen heart difference. She's going all the way here. Red jungle item's kind of overpowered, to be honest. She goes in and kills him. She's going to get another jump here. Down she goes. It's a shutdown for me. Dead man's is going to make a really big difference for running down these ranged characters. My pass is almost up. I think I can do something here. Lux got them really low. I'm on my way. I'm going to ghost in. Go for Jax. He has no E auto block. Give him a smile auto into double R. Run her down with E. I'm still on my ghost. She's trying to get probably to this plant. Yeah, I'm with you, buddy. She actually still had her R. It's kind of funny. Go for Blitz. He has Mobies. He's really slow if Lux stays on him. Gets a long E on him. Oh, that he has got Nimbus speed up. That Nimbus speed up really let him get away there. That's wild, dude. Nimbus is pretty good for Flash. He would have lived there too if he... 
I actually just kept running. Triss could be in the area. Not a threat to us, but to our teammates, certainly. Oh, uh, the stream of shuffle. Auto into R. I needed to get damage on him there. I needed to smite him. That was my mistake. If I would have hit him. Because we ran out of minions as he was shuffling her. So I needed to take Tura aggro preemptively to save the Lux. That's my bad. The E into this guy. We'll get him with an R. Then another R. Now we'll stun him out since that's on cooldown. E into R. Yeah, you can't run away from uh, Udra very efficiently. It just doesn't work. Just doesn't work. Passes almost back up as well. Every gank, team fight, and skirmish is dictated by your passive being up for you to use your R. If you don't have passive up for your R, you don't have a whole lot of damage or stickiness. I'm going to flank Kaisa here. She's chasing. This Gragas is getting lost in the sauce, man. He's basically getting himself killed. You can power E to get to her in the R. Auto. He's trying to do too much solo stuff, basically. Passive starts out on overall a 50 second cooldown. And later ranks it gets all the way down to 20 seconds. Jin's a scumbag. Stole that. Gets less XP from because he doesn't have jungle item. Out goes Triss. She's using that jump reset really well. Yep. She dies at least. I get the kill. I took too many turret shots. 600 damage. Now that we have dead mans, we could look to go for things like Jack Show. We don't necessarily need any more magic damage. Rylize is somewhat redundant because our, our slow is already 35%. Pretty much a perma slow. Rylize is kind of awkward. Rod of Aegis isn't bad. It's cost effective, but building this building it this late feels weird. So I'm thinking since Kais is building some magic damage, we just go for Force to Nature or Jack Show here. Force nature, more health. We also get the movement speed, so force nature it is. Once Triss gets a whole lifestyle item, I'll pick up a bramble or an oblivion orb. We don't have much healing as a whole. Dragon's coming up. I'll go ahead and grab red buff for my team. Five red buffs, extremely valuable. Red buff is so much more important than blue buff. As a jungler, you really don't even need blue buff. There's very few junglers that run out of mana without blue buff. I need to get over there. I'm on my way. I can run a flank on these guys. As long as Blitz doesn't land hook on my teammates. Gotta get away from him. Jax is already kind of low. I'm not seeing any wards either. Oh, there's one right here. Speak of the devil. Boop. I just pull it out. Pull it all the way out. This dragon's going to build into our soul. Oh, teammates are doing stupid stuff over here. I might have to go in. Gragas dies. I'd prefer to just take dragon. I'll use empowered Q for the attack speed. Get our passive back up faster. Got it. Trist really doesn't want... That wasn't even soul. I'm surprised she would do that because now we take Baron. That is going to snowball the game very poorly for them. Yeah, down you go, Jax. That's triple dipple for us. We can't actually end here. Baron's the correct call. But I guess we could take Inhib then it do Baron. Oof. They do not have a comp to stop Uder at all. Triss would have been a good pick if they had more of a beefier top lane or maybe like a Maokai or an Ornn. The type of mid lane champ they have an AD carry, it's it's harder to pull it off because we can run it down. I guess we're just ending. Huh, didn't think we could. 
Use our Q attack speed, and we wrap it up. We'll look at damage all damage taken and runes. Looking at damage dealt against enemy champions, we are a bit of a low damage Larry. We did, did, did still have decent damage overall. I think if we had some proper team fights where we could hit some big R's, we could have stacked it up a bit higher. For damage taken, decent. And for self mitigated, we were the most in the game. Not bad. Runes high value. All in all, even though Uder isn't considered a top 10 or heck, even a top 20 jungler right now, he's more of a top 30. He's still incredibly good. Uh, under the right situations. I think if you can get away with building him armor heavy against an 80 heavy comp or building pretty much magic resist heavy with things like Jack show and force of nature, you're fine. But if you're having to build dual resistances from the get-go, it puts you in a rough spot. But as a whole, he's solid. If you guys enjoyed this Uter video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and let me know what champion you want to see next. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.